number one Iron Age booty daddy. I received a comment last week on a video talking about Razor Fist closing out at almost $350,000 and the success of what a lot of people are calling the Iron Age or even before that, the Comics Gate guys. And even before that, whatever little things that were out there, I think mostly web comics and things like that. Uh, because really before 2015, 2016, we didn't really have a whole lot of this. So the comment was from James Craig, who is an author and very much is a part of the Iron Age and is a fantastic uh, book writer. I have one of his books here and I'm very much enjoying it. But James came out and said that he feels like this is leading more towards a hype economy versus just a normal parallel economy. And it's going to end up shortchanging a lot of people. For instance, he is just an author. He writes his books. He doesn't have a ticker that goes up and he doesn't really need it. There's no extra targets. It's just he writes his book. He puts it out and he tells people to go buy it. Now, one of the things that I thought was very interesting about this and what it really sparked in my head is that is what we are seeing with the successes like Eric July, Ethan Van Skyver, Razor Fist, we're seeing Literature Devil came out and he's doing very well. We had Shadowversity do very well on their crowdfund campaign. With a lot of these guys that I've been paying attention to, I have often wondered, is the hype for their success and the hype going into their books well, is that going to translate down the line to some smaller creators, right? Is there only hype for the big guys or will people be so excited that they would want to search out and find other people who are doing fantastic works in order to go support them with their money? Now, this is something that really gets into, I think, what James was referring to is that you're gonna get all of these people out here who are doing crowdfunding campaigns, who are succeeding in, based off of the audiences that they've built, but really, is that going to benefit anybody else? Personally, I believe yes. And here's why. One, my channel is actually built off of the massive amount of excitement that people have for guys like Eric July, for obviously Literature Devil and Razor Fist and this Iron Age movement. I mean, it's literally the guys who have inspired all of us to be like, wow, if they can do it, we can do it too. So I do think that it will filter through. One thing that I think needs to probably change, and this would actually probably hurt the smaller guys, is we do get away from the crowdfunding side of things, right? Although crowdfunding has been enormously beneficial to so many people, we're starting to see, especially with some other people and certain websites that, one, some people will take the money and run and not produce their product, and two, the websites just may not like you, or they may think that you're politically bad and therefore decide not to do business with you. This leaves a massive, massive gaping hole right in front of us that we could all eventually step into. I mean, if I know if I decided to do my own comic book, I would definitely need to crowdfund because I don't have the money right now. But looking into what Eric July is doing, and I believe I've even heard whispers that Shadowversity was even uh, checking into it. No idea where that is, but you know, I know people are looking into these things. The distribution, okay, or doing pre-order campaigns, where basically you pay, you have the entire book, it's all done, and people come in and they pre-order and then launch day and then bam. So it's kind of like a crowdfund, but not really. You've already paid for the book, you already have it, and all you basically need to know is how many people you need to put it in the hands of, right? How many people are actually gonna order it? Now, do you feel that the creators coming out here doing these massive campaigns and having these massive successes is leading us towards more of a parallel economy? Or do you feel that this ultimately is just hype? No, it's hype for the big guys and the little guys are just kind of kind of get left behind. I personally don't believe that, like I said. I do believe because I'm seeing the benefits here on my channel. I see how excited people get. I see on my Wednesday night streams when people come in, how excited they are to see just my tiny channel here sharing other comic books and telling people where to go. Do you think that the general audience around Eric July, Razor Fist, and I don't think I need to say, you know, Ethan Van Skyver, John Della Rose, do you think the general audience around these guys is actually going to be so excited for this and they're going to branch out and look for other books and other artists? Or when they say, hail Iron Age, do they just mean, oh, hail the one guy that I'm paying attention to? 
There's a lot of questions here, and ultimately, there's a lot of things that I've been wondering for quite a while. And I don't know exactly how it all filters out, because I know a lot of this is still very young, and it's in its infancy, and we're either going to see the Iron Age flourish, we're going to see everything take off from comic books to music to movies to animation to all this stuff, or we're going to see the Iron Age die out. And then eventually they're just going to come up with a new name for essentially the same philosophical uh, ideas that we have here in the Iron Age. But you guys, let me know down below. Is this the start of a parallel economy or is this just hype? And ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being here. Never forget, I want to see you guys comment down below because I go and I read all of your comments every single Sunday on a Sunday live stream. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central. And, uh, well, sometimes I get a little spicy, especially if you piss me off. So... Never fear. Never fear. I do read your comments. And I don't know why I said never fear. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.